let's see what a what year? Oh, yeah. What year? Eighty-two. Eighty-two. Goldwing. Get our data up here. Hope the video got the flame on there. I'll bet you it did. All right, maximize that screen so you can get rid of that file. Somebody help Jeff out all the way to the left. Third button in. Hit it. Okay. So on the right channel, let's, on the right channel there, make that say torque. Right. That's left. Horsepower. Torque. Okay. Get the bottom. Let's try RPM. It might be too er erratic to do. It's not too bad. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this. Do we have max numbers? Do you remember how to change the conditions? Anywhere in there, right click. Anywhere, yep, now go to display. Display. Just this, uncheck what you just checked. You guys see how easy it is to accidentally bump stuff? Now put max values. And then we should be able to see our horsepower and torque. So pre-stackable runs, see 69, it's about 70 horsepower and uh, what, 58 foot-pounds of torque. Not too bad for a 75,000 mile uh, Goldwing. You just did a carb job. Let's do this. Let's compare last year's to this year's. So Jeff, let's go ahead and X, X all those runs out. Hit the big red X. Nope, nope, over to your right. Somebody get up here that knows this software and point to this stuff and help them out, please. Kill the fans. Okay. Now let's minimize that third one. Perfect. Okay, now we have our runs back. So I want you to grab that very last run we just did. Just, just double click the last one. Double click. Okay, now go to run four. That was the last run last time. That was today. What's that? Run four is today. Today? Okay, then get rid of four. Was it run three? How do I do three with run four? Go up to the, the runs right there. Right click the one you want to get rid of. And it'll say remove selected. Okay, so there's the one we want to keep. Okay. Take a look at this, guys. Take a look at this. And make it bigger? Yes, maximize it. Do you think the tune-up that Danny did to his motorcycle significantly helped it? Yeah. Look at the before and after of that. Danny, do you feel it? Oh, yeah, I mean, I go down, I, it's, it's a lot, I mean, grab a lot. Well, I'm, I'm gonna put it this way, Keith. It, if it was the other way around, we probably wouldn't be videotaping it. <laughs> <laughs> No, hey Danny, it looks like you did a great job on your tune-up. These are some great results. So awesome. Great before and after. Let's, uh, let's zoom in on the before and after. Listen to this, guys. 63 to 70 horsepower. Seven, well, about, about six true horsepower over a tune-up? Outstanding. And then uh, I want you guys to think about this, too. Let's think about this for a, a second here. Now, he put new timing belts on. What happens when the timing belts wear? They stretch, and what happens to timing? It's off a little bit. How much of an effect did it have? Something. Something, right? It's all about you know putting all the details together on this. So once again, great job.